now let's understand the thickness calculation for the pipe bends so this is uh, applicable to the pipe bends pipe bends which are formed so the pipe bends which are got a clean bend radius for them this particular method can be used there are other type of pipe bends which are known as uh, mitre pipes or mitre bends which are made by welding pipe pipes with respect to each other so these are known as mitre m i t r e mitre bends so this method is not applicable for this type of pipe bends it is only applicable to the formed bends the minimum thickness for uh, this type is given as the t minimum is given as p times d divided by 2 times s e w divided by i plus p times capital y where all the terms the p is the pressure d is the outside diameter s is allowable stress e is the joint factor w is the factor which depends on the temperature and y is taken from the table the i is the factor which is new so i relates to the bend geometry so i is given as 4 times r1 by d minus 1 divided by 4 times r1 by d minus 2 at intrados so in the uh, pipe bends if you take any cross section so if i take a cross section here so if you consider this cross section aa where this is the center line of elbow so this is section aa so the left hand side is towards the bend radius so this particular point is known as intrados and the other point is known as extrados so the formula for the stresses or uh, this i factor it depends on which location you are calculating so both at the inside as well as the outside the required thickness would be different now the question will come to your mind why do we have to calculate at two sides but here there is a reason while doing the forming if you will uh, if you one once we get to both the factors you will realize that the required thickness is maximum at the inside radius that is or intrados however uh, during the forming operation the because of the forming uh, material flow the outside thickness will reduce and the inside thickness will slightly increase so after forming operation the thickness at the intrados and at the extrados will be different and at the extrados though the thickness required is smaller there is more thinning occurring at that side so as a result of which the both the thickness needs to be calculated and mentioned for the inspector to check so this i is given at intrados by this particular factor it is also given at the extrados by the factor 4 r1d plus 1 divided by 4 times r1 by d plus 2 so this is at extrados and this factor is 1 at side walls or in between intrados and extrados so this is the side wall or point which is lying here so the intrados if i call this i the i will lie here extrados e will lie here and the side point s will lie at this particular location
so at all the three points the i value is different generally sidewall you don't do the calculation it is done at intrados and extrados where the because of forming operation the thickness may change and also for doing this calculation you need to know what is the radius of uh, bend which is given as r1 so we have seen previous slide that elbows come in two standard radius one is a short radius elbow and one other is long radius elbow so for them the ratio is already defined so for short radius elbow we are having a radius of bend equal to diameter and for long radius elbow r1 is given as 1.5 times diameter in general the long radius elbow is uh, preferred because it gives it requires lesser thickness but the, on the compensating side you require more space to accommodate that so if you have a space constraint then only you will go for long radius for short radius elbow sorry the short radius elbow will have two prob uh, two uh, cost associated with it is one is the required thickness will be more and secondly the flow losses in the flow those also will be more because of uh, more sharper change in the velocity okay so using this equation we can calculate what is the minimum required thickness of the pipe so let's take an example which will illustrate the use of this formula so we'll illustrate the formula by using the problem which is given here so in this problem we have to calculate the minimum required wall thickness of a 16 inch nominal bore pipe sorry not pipe the long radius elbow so we want to calculate thickness for a long radius elbow for internal pressure of 1.9 mpa and the design temperature is given as 550 degree centigrade the material is carbon steel corrosion allowance is 3 millimeter and allowable stress is given as 14.5 mpa so almost all data except for the design pressure is same as that for the straight pipe which we calculated just a few moments back so we can pick up the factor w and uh, y from that particular problem so in this case first we need to calculate what is the factor i so since it is a long radius elbow we have the radius of bend equal to 1.5 times d so the i at intrados is given as 4 multiplied by r1 by d that is 1.5 minus 1 divided by 4 times 1.5 minus 2 so it comes out to be 1.25 and i at extra dos is given as 4 into 1.5 plus 1 divided by 4 into 1.5 plus 2 so it comes out as 0.875 so we'll do calculation separately for intrados and extrados so at intrados and at extrados so t minimum would be given as pressure multiplied by the diameter which is 406.4 divided by 2 into this is s into joint factor we are considering seamless so that is by 1 the factor w is same as that for the straight pipe problem since the temperature is same so it is 0.9344 divided by the i factor which is 1.25 here plus pressure into y factor that is 0.7 so that gives us 
the minimum thickness as 31.72 millimeters so now we can calculate the nominal thickness so t nominal will be 31.72 divided by the 12.5 to account for the 12.5 percent under tolerance we are dividing by 0.875 plus corrosion allowance plus there is no threading allowance so you require 39.25 as the nominal thickness of this particular pipe if you do the calculations for the extra DOS you will find that it will be similar calculation so we have 1.9 into 406.4 divided by 2 times 14.5 into 1 into 0.9344 divided by i factor will be different so it is 0.875 plus 1.9 into 0.7 so we'll get the required thickness as 22.96 so t nominal will be equal to 29.24 millimeters so obviously the one which is governing is at the intrados so we need to provide pipe schedule for this particular elbow pipe schedule which is provided equal to schedule 160 which is having nominal thickness of 40.49 so although the thickness of at the extra DOS is not used here if the designer has a doubt he or she can mention in the engineering drawing that the thickness at the outside end should not be less than 29.24 so starting with uh, the nominal thickness of 40 millimeter you may have 12.5 percent under tolerance and after forming the outside uh, thickness may further reduce so after reduction it should not fall below 29.24 so if the if the engineer is confident that that much thinning would not occur then that need not be mentioned otherwise uh, it, it will be mentioned for example if the vendor is new and you are not confident about their manufacturing methods then as a precaution this particular note can be put in the drawing for checking the uh, thickness at the outside end so this illustrates the way the thickness calculation for bends uh, can be done